Hi, Jason here for Chosen DTG Karate and the Art of Nin Tai Jitsu. And I have Dr. Todd Turnbull here, and he's going to be doing a special video tonight. I know a lot of martial artists have hurt their back, whether it's from throws or just different strains. I've messed my back up from uh, bike and snowboarding and martial arts different times. But he's going to give a few pointers on how to keep your back from getting hurt, uh, what to do if your back is in pain. And uh, he's going to do an adjustment on me and just kind of explain a little bit about it. He's also going to be doing some Aikido. He's trained in Aikido, and he's going to be teaching some Aikido vids, and he's going to have a count on YouTube. Pretty soon we're going to set one up for him where he's going to be teaching Aikido out of my dojo, and I'll be the student, and he's also going to be learning some ninjutsu too. So stay tuned. Hello, I'm Dr. Todd Turnbull. I'm a sports chiropractor here in Portland, Oregon area, and uh, I'm here with Jason Stork. We're going to be uh, producing some videos on chiropractic. I'm going to be working on Jason today, and then also we're going to be working on some Aikido videos and some ninja ninjutsu videos that I'm going to be learning with Jason. And we'll be starting my own YouTube account here with videos uh, along those lines, as well as with uh, stretching and exercise videos too. Well, I'm here with Jason Stork again. We're going to evaluate him today for back pain and injury and I uh, just want to ask him real quick, Jason, how did you injure your back and have you been to a chiropractor before? Uh, yes, I've been to a chiropractor a few times. Through the extreme sports I've done, the snowboarding and the BMX, I've had numerous crashes, broken bones, dislocated body parts. I've messed it up a lot. And uh, through martial arts when I was younger, I was doing more advanced dive rolls over fences and things. I was doing a lot harder throws. So I've had a lot of problem with it through the past, and uh, hopefully he's going to help me with it here today. So while I'm evaluating Jason here, what I'm looking for is uh, joint stiffness and also looking for spinal alignment and looking for muscles that are tight and tender. Tenderness right in here? Uh, a little bit lower. I felt some pain. More right into that zone there. Or more down on the side? Yeah, right there. Okay. More left side versus right? Uh, both. Really and tender. Right. And from there, going out both sides? Good there. Just right by the Just spine. Right yeah. Right there. So right into the sacroiliac joint on both sides. How is this in here? Not too bad? It's a little tender. So there's the quadratus lumborum muscle, which attaches into the top of the pelvis. And the other one also, I'm just going to say, is a little tender as well? Yeah, a little tender. Okay, and so that's all pulling that pelvis out of alignment. So those muscles are tight and tense, locking up the pelvis. So we need to free that up. <clears throat> Going up further, looking into thoracics. And Jason riding a BMX bike, and he's a very big guy, so he's leaning over that bike a lot. And so there's a lot of tension through the tra trapezius muscles and rhomboid muscles in here. What I want you to do is bring your elbows up to the sky, like this. Good. Point them all the way up to the sky. And now I want you to try and squeeze your elbow blade, elbows together and shoulders together. But keep your elbows up high. Good. Hold them like that. Hold and resist as I push. Resist, resist, resist. And you feel there's a lot of weakness. You can't resist real well in there. So the muscles are a little weak in there, and it's causing the spine to be out of alignment in here. So this is going to need to be corrected, too. Um, let me have you go ahead and sit up real quick. Now let's face toward the camera. Good. And what I want you to do is just simply let's turn your face as far as you can to this side. Good. And let's compare how well it turns to this side. So he's got a good range of motion there. What I want you to do is hold your head to this side a second. Let's see how strong the muscles are. Hold and resist. Hold, hold, hold. Good. So he's got good strength there. Let's bring your head over here. Hold and resist. Hold. Okay, and so pretty decent strength about even on both sides. What I want you to do is tilt your ear towards the shoulder. Good, and now tilt it towards the shoulder. So he's got good range of motion. Hold your head over on this side and resist. Hold, hold, hold. So he's got a little bit of weakness there. I can kind of overpower him. Bring your head here. Hold, hold, hold. Good. And that one's a little weak too. Okay. Let's have you head tuck your chin all the way forward. Good, and then extend your head all the way backwards. And again, so we've got good range of motion there. Hold your head backwards. Keep it right there. Hold and resist. Hold. Okay. And so we've got some weakness going on in there. What I want you to do is drop your head forward for me. Hold and resist right there. Hold, hold, hold. Okay. And he's got weakness in there too. So what we're going to do is we're going to isolate a little more specifically. Drop your head forward and a little to the left. And let's see how this is. Hold and resist. Hold, hold. 
Okay, and so that's a little weak. Let's stay forward and to the right. Hold and resist. Hold. Okay, and that one feels a little stronger to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so we're a little, weak, a little weaker on the left anterior muscles here. And let's bring your head backwards again, and let's bring it to a little to the left here. Good. Hold, hold. Good. That one's pretty solid. And so let's bring it to the right and bring it back a little bit. Good. Hold right there. Hold, hold. And this is where we're very weak. So a lot of issues with the muscles back here. So when evaluating Jason, I, we see his muscles are not holding and locking. And Jason had asked me to explain what's going on there from his injuries. So a muscle should, a normal healthy muscle is strong, it's flexible, and it's pain-free. And the fibers in that muscle should glide and contract and relax like this. What happens with trauma and injury is those muscles will lock up and now you don't get the sliding, gliding motion anymore. So even though the muscle is tight and tense and hard and firm, it doesn't have the strength and power to do the work it should. Also, sometimes you get some scar tissue build up in that muscle that also needs to be worked out, which makes that muscle again shorter and tighter. So Jason's um, rhomboid and trapezius muscles were weak. We evaluated the strength in some areas of the week, so I'm going to work on correcting that by uh, stretching out the trapezius and rhomboid muscles where they attach into the shoulder blades and then also where they come in and attach into the spine. What I'm going to do after I am finished doing this correction is then test him and see if we actually made a change and improved his strength or if we didn't make the change we expected to make. That's all a little tender in there, isn't it, Jason? Yeah. Let's have your elbows up to the sky again. Good. Hold and resist. Hold, hold, hold. Did you notice any change in strength? Uh, I felt a little stronger. So I want to continue evaluating a little bit more into this low back and find out how strong some of these muscles are attaching into here. So the latissimus muscle is one of the largest muscles in the low back and attaches from the arm and down into the pelvis and the spine all through here. It's your chin-up muscles. So what I'm going to have you do, Jason, is bring your elbow right into your ribs here. Good. And hold that into the side real good. Hold and resist. Hold, hold, hold. Okay. And so his strength on that is a little bit weaker for his size. I'm going to call that about a 2 on a scale of 1 to 5. And so let's test this other side and lock that elbow right into the side. Hold, hold, hold. And that's also oh, this shoulder's real bad, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And so this shows, yeah. It shows the injuries, and so it's going to cause a lot of issues and weakness and discomfort for him. And this shoulder I've dislocated like four times and never went to the doctor. Good. Okay. So I want to test one other thing here. I want you to raise this leg up. Note the whole leg. Straight leg. Good. And I want you to hold that right there and resist as I press. Hold, hold, hold. Good. Pretty solid. Let's bring the other one up. Good. Hold, hold, hold. And that one's not too bad either. Good. So we're going to be working on fixing uh, the next day, and we've got some weakness going on here. We've got some joints that are locked up. So what I'm doing is just stretching and opening up those joints. And as I'm doing that, um, Jason can hear and feel some of those neck bones just kind of releasing, a little popping sound, very gentle motion, and just relax your head.